Thank you all for coming. We are just so excited. It's just heartwarming to see everybody and we're just excited about our little program here. But let me introduce myself, Terry Gavin, co-founder and president of In Your Shoes. Debbie. <laughs> our member Laura and Judith. Let me give you a little history of In Your Shoes. We started March 2008 and we give back to those in need live and work in Westboro. We um, are just so grateful for everything and we just wanted to um, let you know that we have been meeting the needs of residents, families, and grants one one grant at a time for over 13 years. Unbelievable. We have 14 strong women. Um, always, men are always welcome, but... <laughs> to do okay. <laughs> um, we'd like to thank all the people who have worked collaboratively over the years to support our residents who struggle financially. Most of our work kind of occurs under the radar <clears throat> as we respect the privacy and the dignity of those in need in the services of Westboro. A Westboro, as you know, is a generous community and that was highlighted during the pandemic. <clears throat> When people came aware of how food insecurity was impacting residents, they did what they could to create a safety net. I just also wanted to thank St. Stephen's Deacon Washburn. Not sure if he's here. He's not here now. Okay. It's great to have you here, right? Because you were so receptive to our proposal of placing the little free candy right here. Couldn't be more happier. So thank you to all the known and unknown people joining together to make life just a little bit easier for residents who are struggling. Now, I'll hand it over to them. So to reiterate the sentiments of Terry, um, thank you all for being here with us this afternoon um, and to welcome the Little Free Pantry to the Westboro community. Um, so we're gonna open the pantry a little bit later so we can all take a little peek inside. Um, but I encourage all of you to visit the littlefreepantry.org website to get a little uh, like information about really what this movement is about. So the movement started by uh, was started by a woman in Arkansas in 2016, May of 2016, and um, it turned into this national movement now with hundreds of mini pantries all over the country, and it's really modeled after like the model we know to be the. Um, so it's truly a grassroots movement um, and it's really based on this one belief that we all have a chance to serve an immediate need um, to feed and support our neighbors um, and it's based off of the little free pantry motto which is take what you need leave what you can um, and it offers an opportunity for connections connections to be made between individuals, families, groups, organizations to support each other through a very simple model of a community cupboard uh, based on caring, justice, and um, economic sharing. So the considerations that went into making this little free pantry really started months ago uh, by members of In Your Shoes um, and 
who really thought that there are members in our community who um, need things immediately uh, due to food insecurity. And how great would it be if we were to connect them with people who are willing to offer assistance? So that's what we did. Um, we have a resource guide inside the pantry, and it lists all of the resources that the town provides, like the West Grove Food Pantry or Youth and Family Services, because there are services that the town offers that can be very valuable to the people who visit. So the planning for the Little Free Pantry involved learning a little bit about the movement and how other pantries are really operated all around the country. So we actually made connections to the Little Free Pantry in Maryland. Uh, we reached out to a pantry in Arizona. Um, and through resources on the website, um, we developed shopping guides, steward guides, volunteer guides, really to help the people um, do what they need to do and help support Conversations, these resources are available on our Facebook page. They're within the, um, the pantry itself. And uh, the structure itself was made with lots of love by the Gavin family. So thank you to you. Uh, an important aspect of the, the, the launch really was location, location, location. And like Terry said, a huge thanks to St. Stephen's for allowing us to place this here. And a lot of considerations went into why this spot, right? It had to do with safety, accessibility, and providing some type of dignity to the people who do visit, giving them a sense of privacy so they can come and um, take what they need um, with a sense of dignity. Um, so this summer we launched this uh, pantry. We did like a soft launch. We had a really small group of dedicated volunteers through the entire summer who would stock it. Um, and we made note that it's really being utilized quite heavily. Um, it, it's, it's been really eye-opening, I would say, for all of us. Um, the big ticket items are hygiene products, toilet paper, toothbrush, toothpaste, hand lotion, dishwashing liquid, hand sanitizer, you name it. It's what we use day to day. Um, that, that's really being used by our community. Um, um, so it's really clear to us that there is a need in our community. Um, and we see a high turnover. Um, we've noticed that if people stock it in the morning one day, in the evening, like there are shelves that go empty. So it's just to, to it's just a realization that there it, it, it's been very welcomed by our community members. Um, we're very grateful to the constant and generous contributions from the community. Uh, folks have left very thanking messages in our comment box. Um, so just want to share that with you that the generosity is incredibly welcomed. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Judith who's going to give just a, a, a local perspective. Thanks, Debbie. At this time, I'm going to ask you to view our Little Free Pantry through a very local lens. Westboro Public Schools are home to 179 children who are eligible for free or reduced lunch. These children live in families here in Westboro where the income level is at or near the poverty level. This year, the 2021, the poverty level for a family of four is $26,000. And if a family of four earns up to $49,000, they get a reduced school lunch. If a family of four has income below $34,000, they get a free school lunch. In recognition of the food insecurity across the state and across the country, brought up and illustrated through the pandemic, all school lunches are free for this year through June 2022. According to research by Feeding America, statewide, there are an estimated 567,000 people in our state who are food insecure. 
120,000 of those are children. It's important to remember that food insecurity and poverty are not one and the same. As the pandemic has demonstrated to all of us, any family or individual may, as a result of illness, job loss, or other catastrophic situations, they may ex experience a sudden and severe loss of income, and that may last for a period of time. When this occurs, the family may not meet the federal standards for poverty. They also may not be eligible for the available programs like SNAP, etc., etc. Um, but they very likely, and we've seen this, will experience food insecurity. According to research by Project Bread, in 2020, the Westboro community had a food insecurity rate of 9.9%. That's the percentage of people living in Westboro who are identified as being food insecure. That is up from an average of 6.5%. 5.2% in 2018. Now I would like to give you some hyper local numbers. Much as, much like what Debbie said, the food pantry has been well utilized over the past three months. It was a trial. We did not have any idea what would occur once we filled it. Um, at this day, the, the fabulous summer volunteers have stocked the following, at a minimum, 125, at least, individual rolls of toilet paper. More than 75 toothbrushes and tubes of toothpaste. At least 35 packages of packaged or canned protein, chicken, fish, tuna, um, 35 plus packages of food that people would use for breakfast food. And many, 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 many cans of soup, beans, vegetables, and fruit, and many packages of rice, beans, and grains. And as Debbie pointed out, the personal care products, which cannot be purchased with government subsidies, so if you're on SNAP, which is what was formerly called food, Camps, you cannot purchase these things with that with that money. And so people really do need them, they're expensive, and they're going off the shelves every single day. Again, thank you to all of you, all of you here who have and continue, who have and continue to address hunger and food insecurity in our community. I know we're preaching to acquire in a lot of ways, but we're so grateful that you're here. We're fortunate to live among generous neighbors, and for all of you, and for all that you do, we are grateful. We appreciate being part of a community where the little free pantry is supported, and we hope that someday there will no longer be a need for such a resource. Thank you. So at this point, um, it is the hope of in your shoes that the Westboro community <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> will look at the Little Free Pantry as a community project and a great opportunity for outreach. It is um, an easy way for civic involvement. Everyone is invited to participate, young to old, local businesses, schools, organizations, families. It is um, an easy way to get involved in your, in your community. And so what we've developed are um, a couple of ways for people to get in contact with us if they want to start taking on parts of donating um, or overseeing the Little Food Pantry. So in your shoes website has a sign up genius. And so if you go to the in your shoes westboro.com website, you'll find a sign up genius link and you can click on that and you can sign up. If you could sign up for a day, you could sign up for a week or a month. 
we have Facebook. Uh, it is the Little Free Pantry, comma, Westboro. We have a Facebook page. You can go to the Facebook page and you can click on that. And again, you can sign up. And you can even, it doesn't have to be formal. You can just stop by. And if you have an item that you want to put in, you're more than welcome to do so. It is meant to be an easy, low stressful way for all of us to um, support those in need. I can't emphasize enough that, um, I will say, let me say this, I had someone approach me and say, I would love to participate, but I don't think I can stock that whole pantry, and certainly not for a whole week. And that is not the intention at all. It really isn't. Some people do come with bags and that's fine. And some people come with a roll of toilet paper and that is equally, equally fine. You can, um, again, sign up or not. Everything is appreciated and, and welcome. We do, as, as Debbie mentioned, have a lot of resources that we have used with help of other little free pantries things like the shopping guide, so there are suggestions of what goes well. Um, there are things like if you're going to volunteer, things that we're looking for you to do. For example, we don't want opened items, uh, items that are expired. And when they open, you would, you'll see on the inside door, everything's posted there. And everything's also posted on the In Your Shoes website as, as well. Um, if you want to get involved but don't want to come down to the pantry, on the In Your Shoes website, there's an Amazon wish list of the products that we have been seeing are rapidly turning over. It's a lot of personal hygiene. Um, I, I can't emphasize enough, if we put toothbrushes in or toothpaste, sometimes within hours, um, things are being taken. Um, and also, we do accept monetary um, donations in which in your shoes would then buy stock and our stewards would use that to um, restock the pantry. And lastly, if you want to get more involved, which we've already had some people <laughs> express interest in, uh, we have the steward position. And the steward position is basically our, our second pair of eyes to look over on a routine basis, come down, look at the little free pantry, make sure it's clean, organized, check the expiration dates. And again, it's not a huge time commitment. It's maybe 15 minutes, um, whenever. And there is, we can give you that information. You can contact us through the In Your Shoes or here. Um, we're available for questions. And uh, there are just various, various ways to get involved. We, um, the take home message is it's supposed to be an easy way for all of us to come together and support those in need. I will hand it back to you. Thanks, Laura. As we wrap up, please join us for light refreshments and enjoy the music of Louie Crosby who may or may not have to leave, <laughs> but we appreciate your being here and we appreciate your helping us. Um, if you have questions or thoughts or concerns, we'll all be here and we'll be available to talk. There's more information about the LFP, the Little Free Pantry, on that table over there. And down in the back, um, we have an art project. Um, it's a very simple project. It's entitled, What Does Food Mean to You? And you can answer that in writing or you can draw or color. But ideally, what we would like is you can do it here or you can take the, the cards home. But what we would like to do ideally is um, collect those and have them anonymously posted on our Little Free Pantry website so that people can understand what food means in our community. Um, and they, yeah. they are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they were over there. Yeah. 
Okay, at this time, we ask that you applaud or blow bubbles as Debbie's children, Ishani and Sharbani. <laughs> Just, just one minute, girls. I want, girls, I just want to say something. These two came out on one of the hottest weekends, and you remember there were some, to help us paint this. And so we are forever grateful for you staying for that long, hot day and helping us to paint the picture. whatever you can. And thank you again so much for coming up. One more item. I just wanted to um, thank Deacon Washburn for letting us, um, put, you know, get it <laughs> listening to our proposal and um, bringing it forth to St. Stephen's and allowing us to place this right here. We thank you so much. Take a look and have some refreshments. <laughs> 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 